Hi guys, this is Umu from React to the K, and today I'll be reacting to Krisa Chu's Like Paradise music video. Sorry if I butchered that name. Also, this is the performance version. I'm not sure if there's a normal music video, but this is what popped up in my recommendation box, so I just clicked on it. And I haven't heard any of her music before or Flo Blow's music since it was produced by him. So yeah, I'm very excited to listen to this. I love it whenever songs start out super muffled. Okay. I like the interaction between that baby synth and her voice. Alright, here comes the lower percussion samples building up to the chorus. Nice vocal harmonies. Kind of like that throbbing, almost throbbing guitar. Ooh, that was something interesting. I like this chorus. Wasn't that right there? That was good. That was very unexpected. And I love it whenever they take a super, I guess, I don't want to say normal sounding, but like, you know, diatonic, expected, predictable song, and then they just throw in something really unexpected, weird, diminished or augmented during the chorus, or just little flecks of weirdness. I love when songs do that. Like a lot of Luna's recent songs do that, they're more and more generic. More and more. More and more generic, but they do throw in the weirdness once in a while. I would have liked the guitar to actually arpeggiate or something to arpeggiate in this pre-chorus. Because right now it's just it was just like two notes or something behind the vocals. It would have created a lot more motion up to the chorus. Listen to this like du -du -du, du -du -du -du. The bass and the synth does just some weird chromatic motion stuff And the chorus Hello bridge I wonder how many pop songs have snaps in the bridge I think that'll be uh, my next research pod Okay, hello Secondary dominance And we didn't modulate, but that was some nice motion in the bridge. There's some, yeah, also in the chorus, some nice chromatic motion, like, once. But the rest of the song is mostly diatonic. And what I mean by diatonic, it means it's, like, in the key, nothing unexpected. They just take notes from the scale that the key is based on. Call it the key signature. Ooh, she can sing low too. I was pleasantly surprised with that song. It has everything a catchy pop song would need, uh, with synths that you're used to hearing, like you know the most popular baby voice synth and um, the like that synth during the chorus. I've heard that before in many pop songs, but. The notes that that synth and the bass were playing were really nice. Let's let's let me just point out that specific spot if you didn't get it when I was listening to it in the first place. Fifty four of the music video. Yeah, something weird happens. I'd have to sit down at a piano and figure it out to be able to explain exactly what happened because I don't have perfect pitch. Um, but I really liked that moment. It just adds so much more originality I feel to songs when you decide to take a small risk with the music. Yes! Thanks for watching this reaction video. I will see you guys later. Bye!